Hi there folks, this is gonna be the last video I make about uh, the false position method because I made already uh, quite a some quite a few video and uh, I think they're fairly good and they're fine in order to understand the method. So let's start with a function uh, f of x and this time the function is going to be f squared minus x minus 2 equal to 0. And we're going to start with two points that we always do uh, x1 and so that uh, once we plug x1 and x2 into back into our function we're going to get um, two distinct output and those outputs are going to be one positive one negative so x1 we're going to start uh, with x1 as negative 10 and x2 is actually going to be well one so if we plug uh, negative 10 inside our function we basically get uh, negative 10 squared um, minus negative 10 minus 2 so that it gives us 100 plus 10 minus 2 so 108 and uh, so it's a positive value and if we get if we plug in uh, 1 so f of 1 we basically get 1 uh, squared minus 1 minus 2 uh, so we basically have 1 minus 1 those two cancel out minus 2 so we get minus 2 so we're good a positive value and a negative value so we can draw a sketch of our function uh, x y is going to be zero um, so we have the point um, one it's going to be here and um, negative 10 is going to be here there we go all right so we know that a negative 10 uh the function is positive and is 108 108 so it's like up here and uh, at one the function is negative and is negative two like down here negative two right so we can expect the function to to go through here like to go through here all right so uh let's write the formula as we always do you should know it by now for the false position method we have xr equal to x2 times f of x1 uh, minus x1 times f of x2 everything over f of x1 minus f of x2 there we go so um, if we stick to the formula we basically uh, are gonna find x of r1 so x of r1 is gonna be x2 so 1 uh, times f of x1 um so 108 minus x1 so negative 10 times f of x2 so negative 2 over f of x1 so 108 minus f of x2 so negative 2 which is actually going to give us um, 108 minus 20 over uh, 108 plus 2 which gives us uh, 88 over 110 which we're lucky we can simplify as 44 over 55 so uh, this is actually 44 over 55 which is 0.8 okay um so 0.8 uh is going to be the new value that uh, we have just found um which is going to be roughly like um i don't know 0.8 like let's let's do it here Okay, so if we plug in 0.8 uh, back into our function, what do we get? Well, 
we get 0.8 uh, squared minus 0.8 uh, minus 2 so that we get 0.64 minus 0.8 minus 2 so 92.16 so at 0.8 the function is getting you know it is that it's not getting closer to zero is it's going down so it's um negative 2.16 like it's getting is going here so what happened why 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 is it happening what you know why is the method failing why is it is it going down instead of going up we expected it to 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 to, to go up like above not to go down What's happening? Well, um, let's find out. Let let's go on. Let's 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 keep doing this. Um, so because you know it's not it's not the method. It's not that we did anything wrong because you know we started with this. We have a positive value, so we said okay. So it's gonna be between here and here, and we found out a new value, but it's getting down. So it's very is probably gonna go down and then go up uh, but let's go on so uh, let's try with um, XR2 let's go on with XR2 uh, so this is gonna be our X1 and this is gonna be our new X2 so X2 is 0.8 uh, times f of X1 um, which is um, which is um, 108 times 108 minus x1 so negative 10 times uh, f of x2 which is negative 2.16 Everything over f of x1, uh, which is 108, minus f of x2, which is negative 2.16, so negative 2.16. And if we compute this, we get, um, well, um, I'm going to need a calculator, uh, well, 0.8. Times 108 is actually 86.4. So 86.4 um, minus this is actually going to be uh, 21.6. I need a calculator for that. And this one is going to be 108 plus 2.16. Right? Uh, so uh, we're basically going to have 86.4 minus 21.6 over, uh, well, these are going to be 108 uh, plus 2.16, which is going to give me 110.16. Uh, so this is actually going to be, well, we have 86.4 minus 26 uh 21 i'm sorry 21.6 which is i think 64.8 over 110.16 which is gonna be roughly uh 0.58 well or 0.50 i don't know I should really use a calculator. Uh, no, 0.54. No, 0. Point, let me see. Yeah, 0.58. It's 0.58. So, um, XR2 is going to be 0.58. So, like here. So, if we plug in uh, back in 0.58, uh, we're basically going to get 0.58 square minus 0.58 minus 2 um, so what do we get well 0.58 times 0.58 will be 0.33 
minus 0 0.58 minus 2 um, I'm, I'm using a calculator right now because you know I gotta really gotta use a calculator at this point 0 0.58 minus 2 is gonna give me negative 2.25 2.25 so it's still gonna go down so negative 2.25 there we go so what's happening it's going down it's not going up what but but it has to go up so what what's happening well this is a parabola this is actually a parabola so if um, if we cherry pick a value let's do let's do something fun all right let's do something fun let's stop with this method i mean the method is fine um but let's try to i don't know do something 